Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas, and welcome to Green Power Science. Yesterday, we had our large mirror array set up, and we used the pressure bars to adjust the focal length of regular flat mirrors. If you don't know what we're talking about, check the link below. Dan did a video covering this topic. Our mirror array... <gasps> Our array consists of 27 large and small mirrors placed 95 feet away from the target. The target was this Roman ship that I built out of wood. Now I asked Denise to use her artistic skills and make us some crew members for the ship. She made pirates. Well first of all, they're very cute and I was thinking this boat looked more like a pirate ship to me. The sail's definitely a Roman ship. Anyways, we focused the mirrors high on the sail. This allowed us time to get all 27 mirrors in the same path. As the sun moved higher in the sky, the beam dropped into place on our target. By the time we had half the mirrors focused on the sail, it was already starting to feel the effects of concentrated sunlight. As the beam moved down over the wooden sail support, it instantly started to smoke. Temperature readings were well over 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, dear, come here. Take a look at the pirate to the right. It's going to start baking. The longer your focal length with a Fresnel lens, parabolic mirror, or a large mirror array like this one, the more sensitive it is to the sun's movement. A mirror array like this can move across the target this size in about five minutes. Archimedes would have easily have had many people available who could have kept the beam on track as long as possible. This is a clear advantage over just the two of us. Also, Archimedes' mirror would have been made out of a polished metal of some sort, maybe bronze. The advantage to that is that that metal could have also been used as a shield to protect soldiers. Metal can be polished to a very nice mirrored surface. If you find this impressive, Look what we were able to do with the other side. This is a true reflective surface. This mirror is pure metal. Many of the previous tests overly discounted the mirror quality of Archimedes versus mirrors today. Keep in mind, Archimedes made many wonderful inventions, most of which contain near perfect mathematic shapes and curves. It would be silly to think Archimedes would attempt a project like this with simple flat mirrors. Flat mirrors have many disadvantages for heating an object to ignition. The light reflected becomes diffused the further away from the target it is. This is why previous people who attempted to replicate this experiment got poor results and opted to use smaller mirrors. With flat mirrors, larger mirrors are pointless. You end up with a giant spot versus a concentrated small beam. So what I'm going to do is replace the flat mirror with a mirror that we can adjust. This one doesn't have the frame, so I can't adjust this one. I'm going to be putting our adjustable mirror up and adjusting it. This is at 50 feet, by the way. This is the mirror regular. This is just a regular flat mirror, and you can see that it is covering about four or five cement blocks. So the light is being spread. If you compare that to the light output from a small 12 inch mirror, 12 by 12, the concentration power is the same. So it would make sense if you're using flat mirrors to use four of these focused in one spot versus the one big one. But with the bigger mirrors, we're able to do this. Now metal is flexible, so Archimedes could have made large mirrors with a wooden bar across it. He made screws, he knew how to do that sort of thing, so he could have bent the mirror into position, or he could have just designed them that way. You can see, that's a lot stronger focal point than this little weak one. These mirrors raise the temperature instantly. During cloud cover, Denise checked her pirates. As soon as the sun returned, the ship instantly started smoking. Because some of the mirrors were a bit off, the ship only experienced a damaged sail during its first round. The table was another story. It actually ignited.
During the second attempt, we got more clouds. Once cleared, we maintained a very good focus on the sail and the mast actually ignited within a minute. Once the beam moved across the base of the ship, the mirrors were an excellent focal point. Within two minutes of exposure on the hull, the ship caught fire. I want pirates, fire proof. I want the wild pirates to go too. But they're so cute. That's a hurt. Yeah, no sh I mean, this is serious. Okay, go ahead and hose it off. Hose no. it off. I don't want to see it all go. Turn the boat down. Here, you hose it. Oh, okay. That's good. This is right there. There you go. Fine. Uh oh, on the burn. Come here, come here. Oh my god. Hit it. I would definitely say that okay, this stop, boat stop. would have gone down. <laughs> well, a long time ago when it was just smoldering. Oh my god. This was a really fun project. Now we just need to figure out what to do with 27 frame mirrors. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.